All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2x to the power of 6 is equal to 3. So I'm going to first start by letting x to the power of 6 equal to a. So this means that x to the power of 6 times 1 over 6, this is equal to a to the power of 1 over 6. So now if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 6 times 1 over 6, that's 1. So I have x to the power of 1 is equal to a to the power of 1 over 6, meaning x is equal to a to the power of 1 over 6. So now that we know that, I'm going to replace x with a to the power of 1 over 6. So now I have a to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of 2 times a to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of 6. And this is equal to 3. Now, 1 over 6 and 6, these two cancel out. So now I have a to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of 2a, which is equal to 3. Now, 2a over 6, that's the same thing as a over 3. So I have a to the power of a over 3 is equal to 3. Now, let's say... Now, we have to find... Let's say we say a is 3. This means that a over 3, that's 1. So does 3 to the power of 3 over 3, does this equal 3? Well, 3 over 3 is 1, so I have 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3, and 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So I have 3 equals 3, meaning a does equal 3. So we have to solve that by slightly guessing. But yeah, we got our solution of a equals 3. So if a equals 3, now remember how we set x equal to a to the power of 1 over 6. So this means that 3 is equal to, or sorry, this means that 3 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x. So 3 to the power of 1 over 6, or also in the form 6 root of 3, this is my value of x. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of 1,000 minus 5 to the power of 998. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 1,000 here as 998 plus 2. So now I have 5 to the power of 998 plus 2 minus 5 to the power of 998. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of 998 plus 2, that's going to equal 5 to the power of 998 times 5 to the power of 2. So I have this minus 5 to the power of 998. And now, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 5 to the power of 998. So now I have 5 to the power of 998 times, well, 5 to the power of 998 divided by 5 to the power of 998 is 1. Or sorry, 5 to the power of 998 times 5 to the power of 2 divided by 5 to the power of 998, that's 5 to the power of 2. And negative 5 to the power of 998 divided by 5 to the power of 998 is negative 1. So I have 5 to the power of 998 times 5 squared minus 1. So now to solve for this, well, first off, 5 squared, this is equal to 25. So now I have 5 to the power of 998 times 25 minus 1. Well, 25 minus 1, that's simply 24. So I have 5 to the power of 998 times 24. So if I put this in a better format, 
24 times 5 to the power of 988. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. So obviously, I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. And I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 6. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as, I can actually move my exponent to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, and I can move my exponent x to the front here. So this is going to equal x times log 5, which is equal to log 6. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 5, because we obviously want to isolate x. So, these two cancel out, and I'll have x is equal to log 6 over log 5. Now, to solve this, we need the actual values of log 6 and log 5. So if we plug those into the calculator, log 6, this is equal to 0 0.77815. So this is what log 6 equals, and log 5 This is equal to 0 0.69897. So if we plug these values in back into our equation here, we get x is equal to 0 0.77815 over 0 0.69897. And if we go ahead and divide these two, get x is equal to 1.113. So this is my answer to this problem.